Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to transfer the spawn data from one map to another, preferably probably your own. So, for those of you that may not think this is very useful, I mean, you can do without it, but, you know, it's it can be pretty useful. It'll save you a lot of time. So let's go into this uh, map right here my test map and I'll show you some of the spawn data that we got in here so we've got items we've got a couple guns food clothes zombie drops vehicles we got basic cars special cars stuff like that um, zombies we've got civilian zombies and animals we've got two deer or deer and nothing so we're going to actually be changing those, not within the game, but by manipulating some of the game files outside of the map editor. And guys, messing with the map files can be a little tricky, you know, you could mess up your map. But overall, if you know how to use them, it can be very, very time-saving. Like, uh, you'll, you'll see. So what you're going to want to do is exit out of the map and navigate to the game files and you want to go to your maps folder so once you're into your game files you go to uh, maps and the name of that map was new map and so that's the map that we're going to be editing so actually what you can do is open that in a new window and just have it over here so now we gotta decide what map do we want to take the spawn data from so um, I, I like the new map Washington that just came out and I think we're going to take some of the spawn data from that. So what you got to do is go into spawns and you'll find all this stuff here. You also want to go into spawns on your other map and you'll see the same stuff cuz I mean it's, you know, it's the same stuff pretty much. So what we're going to want to do is I want to transfer the items from Washington cuz they've got nice cool items, new guns and stuff like that. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to replace the file and it's really as simple as that I have just copied the item data over here now you may not understand what that means yet but I mean it's pretty simple I'm also going to copy the vehicle the zombies and the animal data as well I'm going to do the exact same thing paste them over there replace them all and that's pretty much all that we need to do so now when we go back into the map we just gotta edit it again and we'll see what changes there are okay first of all you can see tons of stuff here and there and that's it's normal it's not really great um, you can get rid of it though but I'll show you mainly what it actually did and this is fantastic I love it so when we go into items now we've got this huge list and it pretty much has taken every single item list like if we look into the shirt chef chef we got you know now the chef shirt hat pants melee weapons that you might be finding in a chef shop like and food so I mean that's pretty much what it does we got all these uh, lists that we can now use and the way it saves time is that every time you want to add like one of these things you gotta know the item ID and you gotta type it in and it can take a long time so I mean this just saves a ton of time now we also did the same thing for zombies we now have all these different types of zombies really there's not gonna be much difference between health and damage but what they're wearing will be different and it'll be stylized and what they drop will be different as well and so yeah I mean it just it saves so much time for vehicles, we obviously have all the vehicles that were in Washington. And for animals, we got all the, the animals that were in Washington, which would have been just deer. It doesn't seem like animals have changed. And I, they really, I don't think they have because uh, there really aren't that many animals in Washington. Okay, so I don't think there are any animals in Washington, actually. I think I've seen a deer. I don't even know if I've seen a deer. Yeah. Okay, so now we got all this stuff floating around. Looks pretty crappy. And it, even though it's not really going to hurt your map, 
I mean, it's not the best thing to have on your map, just because um, it'll use up some of the map resources and stuff. So it is probably a good idea to get rid of it. Um, these ones out here, I don't think we even have to worry about. They're outside of the game area, and so I don't think they're even going to spawn. Um, I'm not seeing very much item data, like item dots here and there. They're smaller than the zombie dots. So right now I'm in items, and pretty much you just delete those if you uh, needed to get rid of those. For zombies, I can just get rid of those the same way. And, you know, this part's a little time-consuming, but trust me, guys, it is, it's worth it. I mean, it saves, it saves so much time. Especially if you're going to be making a large map. Like, now, if you're making, like, a very small mini-map sort of thing, you don't need it. Okay, see, this can be a little tricky. I don't know if we're going to be able to get rid of some of these down here. But, um, it doesn't really matter, actually. Because, I don't, they won't even spawn if you don't put them within a navigation box. So, yeah. And also, if you just, um, if you do this just on a plain flat world, it'll actually work better. Since this one was already, like, bumpy and stuff, it had, uh, more area for the spawns to go on. Okay, yeah, we can't even get rid of these over there. So, I mean, it, it's not perfect. It's still pretty great. Um, I definitely do this with my own maps just because I am lazy. And I do not feel like having to type in all those item ID numbers. And, yeah, I would definitely suggest using this on your own if you got a lot of stuff to add. Because, you know, it's it's time consuming, typing in all those numbers. And, of course, you can do the same thing with vehicles. Yeah. And yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. It's it's as simple as you it gets. Um you can get a little more detailed about stuff you can transfer between maps. Like there's height maps that you can transfer. I haven't quite gotten into that yet. I know you can do it. So I'll be researching that soon and I will be making a tutorial about it. But yeah, so that'll be coming up. So anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.